Um, I hate to to say that this team's going to go out there and tank, but we can see what kind of Dolphins team they put together here so far, and it's a whole lot of nothing. Um, it's actually a very big reason why Teddy Bridgewater decided not to go there. And while, yes, money was a big factor in that because Teddy wasn't going to go there unless it was life-changing money, he was well aware that they were going to go out there next season and get beat up and lose, and possibly he would have gotten hurt. Um, and that would have just tainted Teddy Bridgewater's reputation. So now he's decided to go to New Orleans to be a backup there. But in terms of the Dolphins here, you know, the fact that they weren't willing to pay Teddy all that money tells me not only did they not believe that he was a true starter, but also that they have a plan at quarterback. And next year, they're just looking for fillers. I started to actually reach out as soon as that story broke to some of the quarterbacks out on the street. And um, it's funny, most of these guys, we know how badly they want a job and they want to get paid, but the reaction wasn't uh, exceptional, put it that way. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, sign me up, make a call for me. It was, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, no thanks. I'm, I'm not that interested. So, yeah, I think next year, I don't think they're going to go. I, I mean, I think they're going to get a quarterback in the draft, but I don't think that that's the guy that they think is the future. I think they're going to go wait another year, and then next, the following draft is when they go. So right now they have Luke Falk on their, on their roster, Washington State quarterback. Um, you say they might draft one. What what do you, what's the demand in your estimation, Diana? What are you hearing? From, I mean, who's the top quarterback out there on the free agent market? Is it Bortles? Is that the top guy next no. on the pecking order? Well, who is? You know, I I just go I just went no, and then I was like thinking about who's out there, like Ryan Fitz, Patrick, obviously Josh McCown, um, you know, the journeyman Josh McCown, who you know said right now he hasn't decided what he's going to do, but I have a feeling he's going to come back. Um, RG three still out there. I know John Harbaugh was saying recently though how much he loves. RG3, he still thinks RG3's got a lot more football in him. In fact, he thinks his best football is ahead of him. I don't know what John's doing down there or what he's thinking about, but that's what he believes in based on what he's seen on RG3. Um, so, yeah, there, there, there isn't so a it's lot Bortles. left. <laughs> I, I, don't think, <laughs> I don't think it's Bortles. I, I, and I love Blake Bortles. He's awesome. He's just such a great dude. But, no, uh, it's not Blake Bortles. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Let's, let's debate this. Who's the best well, I think. Is well, it's funny. I think that I think the tide is going out a little far on Blake Bortles. I mean, I don't know that he's an NFL starter right now, but he's 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 an NFL quarterback. He's a backup. He's a I'd say he's a pretty decent um, level backup quarterback, and that's what the Dolphins, by the way, right now are looking at. They're all the names you just said were backup quarterback level guys, mm-hmm. and yeah, I think that there's no starters left. That's why that's why Teddy was something that they were really trying to make happen. They were selling him on everything. They were bringing Dan Marino in. They were, they were throwing it at him like, this is your hometown. This is where you want to be. You can be the guy. But they weren't willing to put up that, you know, 14, 20 million bucks that, uh, you know, Teddy would have loved to have gotten. Diana, do you think, I can't think of a team that's been more obviously tanking than the Dolphins are going into this next season. The Browns, even when they were terrible, I think they were trying. I mean, that's a, that could be a sad state, but... I can't think of a team that's been more obviously tanking than the Dolphins going into next season. Can you? I don't want to do this because it'd be embarrassing as an NFL reporter on the national level, but I was going through the roster in my head of kind of playing like a little game with myself before I jumped on the show here of, all right, name as many Dolphins players as I can. (laughs) I kind of, I was challenged. I had to go back and open up my computer and start reading it off. And I was like, this is not good. This is not a good sign. You know, I, I, Brian, look, Brian Flores, from what I've been told, is is a really good coach. It's going to take him a minute to even grasp being a head coach coming from from that New England way. I think he's going to be shocked with how different things are there and, and the challenges that they have. But yeah, I think we can pretty much count out the Dolphins. But I want to give you my bold prediction that I've been thinking about for days that oh. I feel like you would appreciate. Okay, I'm ready. Since we're talking AFC East, I think it goes Patriots, the Buffalo Bills, then the Jets, then the Dolphins. 